we have is trigonometric function of sum and difference of two angles trigonometric functions of sum and difference of two angles so this is what we have so first two uh, formulas we have already done the first formula is sine of minus x it is equal to what sine of minus x is equal to what yes minus sine x and cos of minus x is what it is cos x so this formula we have already discussed now we have some new formulas so tell me one thing this one also we have learned in class 10 can anybody tell me what is sine of 90 degree minus x Sine of 90 degree minus x is what? We have done in this one in class. It is cos x. Cos x, that's right. And cos of 90 degree minus x is? Uh, it's sine. Sine x, not sec. Sine x. Because cos and sine are opposite. So cos 90 minus x is sine x. And sine 90 minus x is cos x. Okay. Now, today we are going to learn a very new formula. We will start learning a new formula. The first formula goes like cos of x plus y. Cos of x plus y. You just have to remember this formula. Okay. So what the formula goes like? Cos of x plus y is cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. You have to remember this one. Okay. Cos x plus y is cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Clear? This formula. Now another one is there cos x minus y. What is cos x minus y? Cos x minus y is, you see, here it's plus, right? So I get minus in here. So cos x minus y will be what? Cos x cos y. Cos x cos y. Can you tell me what it will be? Let's wait a second. Uh -huh. It is what cos x plus y. Here it's minus. So this one will be cos x y plus sin x sin y. It will be same thing, but the sign will be different. Here we we see it's plus. Here we see it's plus. So here it will be minus. Here we see minus. So here it will be plus. Okay, clear. Opposite sign will be there. So these two formulas you have to remember. Now another one. So what is of sign? sin x plus y is given by it is sin x cos y plus cos x sin y no no here it will be plus yes when when you see plus for sin uh, who's outside when you see plus in sin then it will be plus again sin will follow the same sign but cos will follow opposite sign Learn like that. Sign for sign, the sign will be same, and for cos, the cos, uh, the sign will be opposite. So sin x minus y will be what? Can you tell me? Sin x minus y will be what? It will be. Yes, very good. Sin x cos y minus cos x sin y. Si yes, simple as that. Okay. So all you have to do is. Remember these formulas and you can solve every single, uh, you can find out another of all the other formulas. So these formulas we have to memorize very, very well. So using these formulas, I will try to derive other formula. Okay. So my first formula that is tan x plus y. Tan x plus y. Now you would be asking, now you will be asking, sir, what will be the formula of tan x plus y? Now, I know the direct formula, but I am not writing the direct formula. I will try to derive using this one. So, tan is what? Co uh, sin by cos? Right? Yes or no? So, tan is sin x by sin x plus y divided by cos x plus y. Right? Now, we have already learned the formula of sin x plus y and cos x plus y. Let's write the formula. Sin x plus y is what? It is? Tell me without looking at this one. Try it yourself without looking at the other portion. It is sin x cos y plus cos x sin y divided by this one will be what? Cos x cos y opposite sign minus 
everyone clear okay understood now for for tan x plus y what you have to do is i have to divide the numerator and denominator by this one i have to divide the numerator and denominator by this one okay i have to divide the numerator and denominator by cos x cos y to get to the actual formula so what i get if i divide sin x cos y plus cos x sin y divided by cos x cos y i have to divide it no matter what to get the formula now i am doing it only to get the formula now you will be asking sir why not divide by sin x sin y the reason is that the formula the formula demands that that's how i will get the formula so i will divide the numerator and denominator by cos x cos y now you see when i divide i have to separate i can separate right so let me do it in the another page so i can write this one as sin x cos y divided by cos x cos y can i write this thing plus cos x sin y divided by cos x cos y tell me guys can i write or not can i write this or not cos x cos y divided by cos x cos y minus sin x sin y divided by cos x cos y i hope i can write okay now tell me tell me about the numerator what happens tell me about the numerator what happens so cos y cos y gets cancelled right so i get what sin x by cos x is what tan x and here a uh, cos x cos x gets cancelled so i get what plus tell me what happens plus what come on guys tan y yes tan sin y by cos y and here both of them gets cancelled so what do you get 1 minus and this part what we have this part what we have tell me first it is tan x tan y tan x tan y so this is my formula of tan x plus y am i clear okay so the formula which we learned is tan of x plus y is equal to tan x tan y tan x plus tan y divided by 1 minus tan x tan y so this is my formula okay clear understood now let's learn about cot x plus y what is the formula of cot x plus y we will proceed like that only so tell me uh, what is uh, cot x is what it is a ratio of what cos by sin right so i can write this one as cos x plus y divided by sin x plus y i can write yes or no and cos x plus y is what chalo but what was the formula of cos x plus y it is a uh, sin cos x cos y minus sin x sin y yes or no divided by divided by it will be what sin x plus y is what sin x cos y plus plus cos x sin y this is it right everyone clear yes or no okay now now tell me what should i divide it with think and tell me let's see who can tell me now look at here previously we had what tan previous let me go to the previous one previously you see we were discussing about tan function right so we divided by cos x cos y why we divided by cos x cos y because sin x by cos gives us tan because sin x by cos gives us tan but in here we have cot x so i need to get cot i need to get cot everywhere right so tell me how can i get cot cot is what cos cos by sin so my denominator will be sin so i will divide numerator and denominator by sin x sin y everyone understood why am i dividing by sin x sin y you understood or not now you get the idea why am i dividing with sin x sin y am i clear because i am i have to find cot and cot is a ratio of what cos by it is cos by sin so the denominator will be sin that's why acha this part will be what sin x cos y 
acha this one i will ha- i will write directly i don't want to do each and every step sin x sin y plus cos x sin y divided by sin x sin y so tell me directly in the numerator without separating what will happen without separating what will happen tell me fast it is what cos x cos y divided by sin x sin y it will be cot x cot y yes or no guys Co- cot x cot y minus minus will be what minus 1 divided by tell me the denominator what happens to the denominator you see sin x sin x it will be cot y cot y and it will be plus cot x yes so the formula which we learned is now let me write in the next page the formula whether we remember or not so cot of x plus y is nothing but cot x cot y minus 1 divided by cot x plus cot y you can write this one as cot y plus cot x is the same thing it's addition of two numbers is the same thing am i clear understood so this is another formula which we have to do acha now can anybody tell me what will be cot x minus y what will be cot x minus y chalo let's see who can tell me what will be cot x minus y by using this formula tell me here it's minus it will be cot x cot y it will be cot x cot y plus 1 divided by cot x minus cot y simple as that okay clear now tell me uh, tan x minus y will be what tan x minus y will be what think and tell me tan x minus tan y divided by 1 yes very good 1 plus tan x tan y yes that's right so these formulas are done so let me just just wait for a second can we do some problems or not let me just see acha now yeah so from here you see i will just derive one thing i told you what sin sin 90 minus sin 90 degree minus x is what cos x right we i told you this thing right so let us derive whether is sin x or not so now let's apply the formula of sin x plus y x minus y what is sin x minus y sin x minus y is what it is sin x cos y minus cos x sin y yes or no yes or no let us apply this formula in here so if i apply this formula in the above question what we have it will be what sin 90 sin 90 degree cos x minus minus cos 90 degree sin x aboli what is happening is there is a network problem or what acha now so this ha, everyone have you understood why this is coming yes or no have you understood the formula sin 90 cos x minus cos 90 sin x okay now tell me the value sin 90 is how much sin 90 is how much 1 so i have cos x cos 90 is what 0 i don't have to write and you see this proves right sin 90 minus x is cos x am i clear that's what we have written right yes acha tell me acha this one is done this one is done acha we have some uh, small small problems in here tell me this one guys uh let's see who can tell me cos 90 degree plus x is equal to what think and tell me cos 90 plus x is how, what find out fast how much is it just apply the formula of cos x plus y how much how much 
टेल में पास लुक एट हियर गाइस व्हाई व्हाई वी आर यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला वी नो वन थिंग राइट cos is there and this is 90 degree 90 degree is odd multiple of 90 so cos will become sin we have just learned this one previously 90 degree is odd multiple of 90 and 90 plus x lies in which quadrant 90 plus x lies in which quadrant it lies in second quadrant right and uh, first quadrant 90 plus x it's more than 90 it lies in second quadrant and in second quadrant cos is negative so it will be minus sin x yes or no this is shortcut and this one we have learned this one we have learned already in my uh, previous exercises but if i have to apply the formula what happens cos 90 plus x is what cos 90 cos x minus sin 90 sin x i am applying the formula am i clear cos x cos y minus sin x sin y that's the formula right yes or no once you learn the formula try to apply that formula am i clear now cos 90 value is what zero so forget this this part becomes zero so i get what minus sin x that's my answer minus sin x okay and you see we got minus sin x now tell me this one will be what sin of 90 plus x will be what look 90 degree is odd multiple so sin will become cos sin will become cos and you see 90 plus x lies in what second quadrant yes or no 90 plus x lies in second quadrant so and one thing we know that in second quadrant sin is positive so it will be cos x yes or no and if i have to apply the formula it will be what if i have to apply the formula sin x plus y is what sin 90 sin 90 degree cos x plus cos 90 degree sin x this is the formula of sin x plus y right so now you see cos 90 is zero so forget about this last portion that will that will be zero so the answer will be what sin 90 is one so the answer is cos x you see this one and this one is equal am i clear so i got the answer by shortcut method also and i got the answer by using the formulas also okay yes or no guys now tell me tell me this one what is the answer of cos Yes. Yes. What happened? Now tell me, what is the answer of this one? Cos one eighty minus x. Fast. Do it fast, guys. Cos one eighty minus x. How much is that? First, अच्छा, just tell me using the shortcut. One eighty degree is even multiple of ninety. So cos will remain cos. It's even multiple of ninety. Cos will remain cos. Then what do we have? One eighty minus x lies in which quadrant? One eighty minus x lies in which quadrant? Think hard and tell me. One eighty degree minus x lies in. It is less than one eighty. So obviously it lies in a uh, third quadrant. One eighty minus x. It is less than one eighty. it lies in second quadrant so if it lies in second quadrant cos is negative so it is minus cos x these things we have already done as a last one tell me this one sin 180 minus x this is equal to what sin 180 minus x is what pass Sin one hundred and eighty minus x. How much is that? Hmm. Again, it's even multiple of ninety. So sine will remain sine. Sine will remain sine. And one hundred and eighty minus x is what? Again, second quadrant. And in second quadrant, sine is positive. So it will be just the answer will be sine x. Acha, your homework will be do one thing. Uh, this one cos one hundred and eighty minus x. Sine one eighty minus x, cos three sixty plus x. I said three sixty minus x, not two plus x. Three sixty minus x, sine three sixty minus x, and then you have 
Yes. Find these four values. Your homework. Find the these four values using formula. Using formula of we learned today that cos x plus y, cos x minus y. Using those formulas, please solve these ones and find the answer. Okay, that's your homework.